Hare Krishna, welcome to our weekly Bhagavatam class. Today is a special day. We are going to discuss about the Damodar month. This is a very special month. You must have, some of you who are new must have realized that every day we are offering lamps to the Damodar. Just like, you know, in the daytime, there are certain times in the day which are very special. Like early morning when the sun is rising, you know that it is a special time of the day. Why? What happens when early morning when the sun is rising? Why is it special? What happens at that time of the day? There is, there is mode of goodness. There is Brahma Muhurta. You feel like going to temple. You feel like being kind to others. Uh, there is an energy of goodness early morning. All of us experience that. That is why we like to do yoga. We like to do meditation early morning. And late night, midnight, you will see Tamoguna is prominent. Ignorance. Right? That is why the liquor bars open at night, after 9. And 9 o'clock, our temple closes. <laughs> and when the temple opens, that's the time when these bars close at night. <laughs> so early morning when we open, they close. So that means, just like in a day, in a 24-hour period, there are some times that are very conducive for spiritual activities, right? We all instinctively know that, that some time of the day is conducive for spiritual activities, right? Similarly, if you consider one year as one time unit, then just like in a day, there are times when it is conducive for spiritual activities, similarly, in a year, there are certain days, there is a certain month which is extremely powerful for spiritual activities. And that is this month of Urja Vrata. Urja means energy, the month of energy. Urja is also name of Srimati Radharani because she is the primal energy of Krishna. She is the original energy. So, in this month, any spiritual activity performed would give immense benefits, thousands of times more benefits. Just like it's easy to chant early in the morning and we get spiritual consciousness easily, similarly during the month of Kartik, we make tremendous spiritual advancement if we focus on chanting, hearing, serving. You will see many devotees, they don't waste a single moment in this month. They bare minimum, they sleep, rest of the whole day they are chanting, serving, reading. So, it's very important. Kartik month is derived from the word Kritika, which is another name of Srimati Radharani. And you will feel, you will see that devotee is travelling from very far off distances. I know devotees who come from Malad, Dombivili for the lamp offering in the evening. There is some energy, there is some silent reassurance devotees feel when they come in this big crowd, big group of devotees and they offer a lamp to Krishna. So please make best use of this. And today I'll briefly share with you uh, the pastime which all, all of us already know, Krishna being born by Mother Yashoda. In this pastime when Krishna was born by his mother, he renounced eight opulences that he has just so that he could glorify his devotee, Mother Yashoda. So to give a context, I remember many years ago I was walking from Grand Road Station to Temple. I came through the market, the fruit market inside Grand Road. I met one uh, religious fanatic, Hussein. So he first make, he tried to be friendly with me and then he couldn't control his anger. He said, are you not afraid of God? You will burn in hell. He screamed. Because according to his religion, we are all idolaters. We worship God by the form. So he said, are you not afraid of God? I said, no, I'm not afraid. I, I love God. So he said, we also love God. I said, no. I said, you fear God. You actually love God out of fear, but we fear God out of love. There is a difference, big difference. Their foundation is fear. Our foundation is love. So in most religions, semantic religions especially, God is presented as someone who will burn us in hell if we don't surrender to him. In Krishna Consciousness, God is presented very uniquely. If you go to Rome, they have this chapel there. In their main headquarters of Roman Catholic Church. And there you will find this huge dome, where they have made a painting of God. 
there is no form of god but there is some dazzling light that is coming and you will see all devotees of god standing like this out of fear of that light they are all afraid of that light that is how god is presented as someone whom you have to be afraid of but you come to his con temple you will see in the temple hall you will see a painting of krishna being chastised by his mother yashoda and you will see god in his con temple being afraid <laughs> like this exactly opposite of what other religions are presenting so in our path god is afraid he is running in fear of his mother what a contrast and what are the crime that god committed he broke clay pots and he was caught red handed stealing butter not only was stealing butter but he did something more mischievous than simply stealing butter what did he do he was sharing that butter with monkeys so mother yashoda decided that she will bind her darling son krishna so that he doesn't do more mischief so she bound him to a wooden grinding mortar so that she could boil milk and make sweets for krishna that was the day of diwali so she had many duties to perform so this is the numero you know past time this is the number one past time of krishna which is celebrated throughout the month twice every day for whole month we glorify this past time by singing the bhajan namam ishwaram sachidananda roopam so this is a very very unique past time where every day two times so one full month we are discussing this past time there is no other past time of krishna which is sung every day twice for one month janmashtami is celebrated how many times in a year only once one day in a year but this is celebrated entire month so you can see how contrasting this past time is and how special it is for devotees and damodar word itself means udara means belly dama means rope so lord whose belly was bound by a rope basically the past time indicates how the lord was conquered by love that rope is not simply rope it is mother yashoda's love so shukdev goswam in the 10th canto of shrimad bhagavatam explains why lord performs such kind of past times this is the 10th canto 9th chapter text number 19 onwards you can chant these verses after me एवं सदर्शित अंगा हरिना वृत्यवश्यता स्वशेना कृष्णेनादम शेषर वशे सदर्शिता एक्सीबिशन द लॉर्ड एक्सीबिट्स दिस पास टाइम सो माई डियर किंग शुभे गोस्वामी से एवं सदर्शित अंग हरिना हरि डज दैट लॉर्ड हरि डज दैट बिकॉज हरिना वृत्यवश्यता इज कंट्रोल्ड बाय इज वृत्य कृष्णा इज कंट्रोल्ड बाय इज डेवोटी टू शो हाउ इज कंट्रोल्ड बाय इज डेवोटी ही परफॉर्म्स दिस पास टाइम नॉट फॉर एनी अदर रीजन एंड यू मे थिंक हो द लॉर्ड इज कंट्रोल्ड इमिडिएटली शुभे को समय क्लैरिफाइज ओ हु कैन कंट्रोल द लॉर्ड स्वशेना कृष्ण कृष्ण इज कंट्रोल्ड ओनली बाय हिमसेल्फ नो बडी हेल्प कैन कंट्रोल कृष्ण यम शेषर वशे ऑल द देवता पुट टुगेदर कैनॉट कंट्रोल कृष्ण ओनली कृष्ण कैन कंट्रोल हिमसेल्फ बट स्टील इज एक्सिबिटिंग दिस पास टाइम टू प्रूव दैट इज प्योर डेवोट इज कैन कंट्रोल हिम हु कैनॉट कंट्रोल कृष्ण द नेक्स्ट वर्ष दे गोस्वामी से प्लीज रिपीट नेमं विरिंचो नाभवो न शीरपंग संशया प्रसाद लेबिरे गोपी तत्प्राप्या नो 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 बड़ी कैन कंट्रोल विरिंचो न भवो ब्रह्मा जी कैनॉट कंट्रोल लॉर्ड शिवा कैनॉट कंट्रोल कृष्णा Na shreer ab anga samshaya. Oh, without doubt, my dear King, Goddess of Fortune, Lakshmi Devi also cannot control. Ne mam virincho na bhavo na shreer ab anga samshaya. But look at this simple Gopi. Who is this Gopi? Mother Yashoda. 
Prasadam Levire Gopi. What is the Prasad she got? What is the blessing she got? Tat Tat Prapya Vimukti Dat. She got that which great yogis who desire mukti liberation do not get. This is the most special position of Mother Ishoda. So therefore, Krishna is captured by his mother who binds him. And when she catches Krishna, Krishna is afraid and he looks into the heavens. <laughs> he is afraid and he is breathing heavy, he's breathing fast. Our Vaishnava Acharyas give purport. Why is Krishna looking up in fear? He is looking up because he is telling all the devtas who are in the heavens, Look at me. Look at me. You are all doing your services because you know I am your boss. You are all afraid of me and you do your duties because you consider me as your boss. But now just see who is my boss. <laughs> my boss is my mother, <laughs> Mother Yashoda. So she, Krishna wants to tell the whole world. See, generally, if somebody commits a crime in this world that is punished, you have seen in the TV or in the news they show, the criminal's face, he hides his face. He doesn't want to show his face. Criminals never show their face when they are caught by the police. They hide their face. Isn't it? They are like this. They will put a cloth or they put their hand. They don't want the world to see their face. And Krishna has committed a crime. And he is being taken by Mother Yashoda. And far from covering his face, Krishna is showing his face to all the devtas and everybody. He is saying, look at me. Look at me. See who has captured me. Take a look, a very good look at me and the person who has captured me. Basically, Krishna is enjoying, although it appears as if he is afraid of his mother, he is enjoying the love of his mother, he is enjoying this pastime. All of us, we are afraid because we don't want to lose control. That is why we are afraid in life. And our body, you see, is temporary, right? This body is the source of the biggest fear and insecurity. Because this body is temporary, it will get destroyed. And fear is built into this body. That's why we all have natural fear. But Krishna's body is not like our body. His body is Satchidananda, is eternal, fully conscious, fully blissful. So when Krishna is afraid, he is not afraid like we are afraid. His fear is completely special, it is transcendental, it is spiritual fear, it is out of love. And therefore, we will discuss how when Krishna is running in fear of Mother Yashoda, he is actually controlled by love and because he is controlled by love, he gives up eight of his special opulences which he has. The first opulence which Krishna renounces in this pastime is Krishna is called Atma Ram. Atma Ram means? What is the meaning of the word Atma Ram? Self-satisfied. Krishna is self-satisfied. Which means Krishna doesn't need anything outside of himself to make him happy. One of the qualities of Krishna is Atma Ram. But Krishna renounces this quality. He allows the world to know that he is no longer Atma Ram. He wants, he is not satisfied, self-satisfied. He wants the milk of his mother, Yashoda. Mother Yashoda is boiling milk to make sweets for Krishna the day of Diwali. Krishna runs to her, pulls her sari and demands milk from her. Atma Ram, the Lord who is self-satisfied, wants milk from his mother. So by demanding milk from his mother, he is declaring to the world that I am no longer Atma Ram. I am Atma Ram for the whole world. But when it comes to Mother Yashoda, I am not Atma Ram. I am wanting her love in the form of her milk. So this is the first quality Krishna renounces. Another quality which of Krishna is Krishna is also known as Aptakam. What does Aptakam mean? Anybody? Aptakam means? Atmaram is somebody who is completely self-satisfied. Aptakam is one who is satisfied with little. If you give Krishna something little, Krishna is satisfied. You know, we chant this famous verse from the Gita. Patram pushpam phalam toyam yome bhaktya prayachati tad aham bhakti upahartam ashnami prayatatmana Krishna says, if you offer me one leaf, one flower, one fruit, little water, I am satisfied. 
Krishna is satisfied with little. But when it comes to Mother Yashoda, she was feeding Krishna her milk. And Krishna was enjoying her love in the form of a milk. And then suddenly Mother Yashoda realized that the milk which she had kept in the stove for boiling, that was boiling over. So she ran to protect that milk. And she kept Krishna on the side. So Krishna, who is after calm, renounced this quality and instead of being satisfied by the milk that Mother Shoda fed, fed him, he wanted more. And he was not satisfied with the little milk he got. Therefore, Krishna renounced his quality of being apta calm. Not only did he not become satisfied, he also gave up his third quality, which is three guna teeth. What is three guna teeth I mean? Above the three modes of material nature, especially beyond anger. Lord is supposed to be three guna teeth. He is beyond the three modes. But when Mother Yashoda did not give him as much milk as Krishna wanted, Krishna became angry. The Supreme Lord who is beyond the three modes. For the entire creation, Krishna is three guna teeth. But when it comes to Mother Yashoda, he is controlled by anger. Krishna bit his red lips with his white shining pearl-like teeth in anger. Or Vaishnavacharyas say, red lips represent Rajoguna and white teeth, the white represents Sattva, goodness. So just like Krishna bit his red lips with his white teeth, similarly we should control the mode of passion with mode of goodness. But Krishna... He is not controlling anger with mode of goodness. In fact, he is allowed mode of anger, passion to be prominent. He is Triguna Tita to the whole world, but here he has become angry. And why did he become angry? Because he did not get milk. Same Krishna, he came as Ram. And when he came as Lord Ram, his father announced that he will be made the king. And next morning, his stepmother Kai Kai announced that he has been banished from the kingdom. On both occasions, Lord Ram was three gunatit. He was equipoised. He, he gave a smile. He was totally unaffected by being given the kingdom and being deprived of the kingdom. It had no effect on Lord Ram. But same Lord Ram, when he comes as Krishna, he gets angry. And for what? Compare kingdom with milk. <laughs> Lord Ram was deprived of kingdom and still he is peaceful. Krishna is deprived simply of milk and he is angry. This is the beauty of Krishna being controlled by his mother Yashoda's love. So he is Triguna Tita, but he gets angry. And what does he do when he is angry? He starts breaking all the butter pots in the house and he starts taking all the butter, starts feeding to the monkeys. So this is three qualities. What is the first quality he renounces? Atma Ram, which means self-satisfied. Second, Aptakam means satisfied with little. Third, Tri Guna Tita means beyond the three modes. And fourth quality which Krishna renounces is Krishna is known as Lakshmi Pati, means husband of goddess of fortune, which means he is supremely wealthy. But here, Krishna is stealing. Generally, who steals? A beggar steals. One who doesn't have something. Krishna is stealing. And generally, a billionaire will not steal. And even if a billionaire steals, he will not steal butter. <laughs> he will steal a butter company. <laughs> He will not steal small things. But Krishna is Lakshmi Pati and he is stealing ordinary butter. And Krishna is famous as Makhan Chor. Vraje Prasiddham Navanita Choram Gopangananam Chadukula Choram Aneka Janma Arjita Papa Choram Chaura Graganyam Purusham Namami so this is a famous thief of Vrindavan, Rajay Prasiddham Navanita Choram. He is known for stealing butter. Not only that, 
Gopangananam chadukula choram. He steals the distress of all the Gopas. Aneka janmar jita papa choram. He steals all the lifetimes of sins that we have committed. Therefore, I worship Chaura Graganyam, the chore number one, the best thief, Purusham Namam. Shri Radhikaya Rudayasya Choram, Navam Udasham Alakanta Choram, Padashritanam Chasamasta Choram, Chaura Graganyam, Purusham Namam. He steals the heart of Srimati Radharani. Shri Radhikaya Rudayasya Choram, and he also steals Navam Budasha Malakanta Choram. He steals the complexion of the fresh monsoon cloud. That's why it is said that the cloud and Krishna are best friends because they have the same complexion. Also, after the hot summer season, when clouds gather in the sky, people feel relieved. Similarly, when we are suffering in the material pangs, when Krishna enters our life, we start feeling relief. Therefore, Krishna is welcome. So he steals the color from the from the clouds. Padashritanam cha samastha chora. One who takes shelter of Krishna's lotus feet, Krishna steals away all inauspiciousness from their life. Therefore, we worship the greatest thief. So Krishna is Lakshmi Pati, but he's stealing butter. And in this world, nobody who is a billionaire will be will feel happy if he is glorified for his stealing activities. Like during the annual general body meeting of the shareholders, if Mr. Mukesh Ambani is being introduced in the AGM, and imagine the, the one who is the master of ceremonies, he introduces him saying that Mr. Mukesh Ambani studied in this school, he studied in the engineering from VJTI, and when he was in school, he used to steal pens from his friends. <laughs> Can you imagine a billionaire being glorified for being a thief? Mr. Ratan Tata was a thief in school. It's considered an offense to glorify somebody like that. But Krishna, for all time to come, is going to be glorified, who is Lakshmi Pati, who is the husband of Goddess of Fortune, is all billionaires are nothing compared to him. But he loves to be known as a thief. For so this is how. Not only he was a thief, he stole the butter, but what he did with that butter, he shared with monkeys. Why did he share with monkeys? Anybody knows? Because these monkeys were with Krishna when Krishna was present on planet Earth as Ram. And this, these monkeys served Lord Ram very nicely. So Lord Ram said, you have served me so well, I am unable to reciprocate with you. But in my next incarnation, when I come as Krishna, I will feed you nicely. <laughs> so when he came as Krishna, he fed them nice butter. So like that, our Acharya's give purport. So four opulences Krishna renounces. The fifth one Krishna renounces is, so when he was running away from Mother Eshoda, and Mother Eshoda started chasing him, finally what happened? Who won the race, Krishna or Mother Eshoda? Mother Yashoda caught Krishna. Krishna who is never caught by anyone. One of his opulences is, he is Ajita. Ajita means one who is never conquered. The Supreme Lord, the unconquerable Ajita is conquered by a simple gopi. That is the power of bhakti. It's amazing. And the joy that Krishna experiences in being conquered by his devotee is unfathomable. This is also a beautiful verse from the Bhagavatam. Please repeat. Nayam Sukhapo Bhagavan Nayam Sukhapo Bhagavan Dehinam Gopika Sutta Dehinam Gopika Sutta Gyaninam Chatma Bhutanam Gyaninam Chatma Bhutanam Yata Bhakti Matamiya Yata Bhakti Matamiya Nayam Sukhapo Bhagavan, the joy that Krishna experienced. Dehinam Gopika Sutta and the joy that Madhureshwada experienced. Nobody in this world can understand. Jnaninam Chatma Bhutanam, great jnanis and yogis can never fathom this. What Yata Bhakti Matamya, what is experienced in Bhakti cannot be understood by anyone who is practicing jnana and yoga. 
So Ajita, one who is never conquered by anyone, is conquered by Mother Yashoda's love. In fact, it is said, Pantastu koti shatavat sarasam pragamya Vayo rathapi manaso munipunga vana Sopyastayat prapadasimna vichinta tatve Govinda madhi purusham tamaham vajami If you run behind Krishna in the speed of mind, See, what is the fastest thing on planet Earth? What is the speed? Nee, generally, we say sound travels very fast. But there is something that travels faster than sound. What is that? Light. What is the speed of light? 3 into 10 ratio to the power 8 meters per second. That is how many kilometers? 3 lakh kilometers per second. Do you know any train or plane that can travel at 3 lakh kilometers per second? What speed we are talking about? And imagine, if that is the speed of light, what will be the speed of mind? Like if you imagine now I am in sun, you are in the sun. Sun, light is nothing compared to mind. So if you travel at the speed of mind for Shatavatsara Sampragamyo, if you travel at the speed of mind for crores of years, so, Pyastayat Prapada Simni. Simni means toenail. You will not even reach Krishna's toenail. That's how inaccessible Krishna is. That means he is unconquerable. And here is a simple gopi, Madhreshoda. She has conquered Krishna. She has bound Krishna. You know this famous demon in Krishna Lila who was running behind Krishna and could not catch Krishna? Kalayavan. Kalayavan was a demon. And Krishna was walking slowly, relaxed. And Kalayavan was running behind Krishna in full speed. So imagine Krishna is walking slowly and Kalayavan was running full speed. And still he could not catch Krishna. And he's feeling Krishna is near but he's just not able to catch and Krishna is coolly walking. What a sight that must have been. <laughs> for, for days together Kalayavan is running and he's thinking Krishna is so close, let me catch him. He is running full speed. And Krishna is coolly walking as if he's on a garden stroll, stroll in the garden. That's how powerful Krishna is. Mother Yashoda, because of her bhakti, she could catch this Krishna. So all of us, if we practice the process of hearing about Krishna, chanting Krishna's names, Jnane prayasamudapasya namanta eva Jeevanti sanmukharitam bhavadi avartam Sthane sthita shutigatam tanumang manobir E praya so jita jito asite stri lokyan When you have exhausted all your mental speculation, jnane, praya, samudapas, and amantaeva When you engage in hearing, chanting, wherever you are, you may be a grahastha, you may be a student, you may be a businessman, Whatever, wherever you are, if you are just hearing about Krishna, serving Krishna, then by this endeavor, ye prayaso, jita jitopi, the ajita lord will become jita. He will be conquered. That is the power of bhakti. So in this material world, the lord is running after us. His devotees are running behind us to catch us. They call us up for program. Come, come for the class. Come for Krishna consciousness. So Krishna is chasing us. Krishna is running behind us. But in the spiritual world, the devotees are running behind Krishna. And they are catching Krishna. So this is the fifth quality which Krishna gives up in this Damodar Leela pastime. The sixth quality Krishna gives up is, Krishna is known as Abhaya. What is the meaning of the word Abhaya? Fearless. Krishna is fearless. In the third canto of 25th chapter, text number 42, Krishna says, The sun is moving out of fear of me. The wind is blowing because of fear of me. The light, the air is moving. Everything is happening because they are afraid of me. So this powerful Abhaya Lord who causes fear and terror in the hearts of all, he is himself afraid. Gopyada de Tvai Krita Gasidha Matavar Yate Dasha Shukalilanjana Sambra Maksham 
वक्त्रम निनीय भय भावन या स्तितस्या समाम विमोह यति भीर अपीयद विभेति मदर यशोदा इज रनिंग कुंति देवी इज इमेजिनिंग दिस साइट धाम दावद याते दशासुर एंड कृष्णा इज वाइपिंग ऑफ द टीयर्स फ्रॉम हिज ओन आईज एंड द ब्लैक मस्करा इज मिक्सिंग विद द टीयर्स वक्त्रम निनी अ भय भाव एंड इज इज ब्रीदिंग हैवी फास्ट and kunti devi says samam vimoha yati bhir i am bewildered because api yad bibeti fear is afraid of you krishna and you are afraid of a simple gopi yashoda that is how krishna gives up the quality of abhay now i have a question for all of you we keep saying krishna is god krishna is supreme lord How can Supreme Lord be afraid? Is it, did did Krishna do drama of being afraid, or was Krishna really afraid of Madhuri Shoda? What do you think? How many of you think Krishna was doing drama of being afraid? Nobody. That means he was really afraid. How many of you feel he was really afraid? Others not raising hand for both. You want to be politically right? <laughs> See when Krishna was running, na, from fear of Madhuri Shoda. and mother shoda was running behind him so to catch him actually what happened the milk was boiling so our vaishnava acharya you know they have amazing purports they give the milk boiled over and mother shoda had to keep krishna down and she ran to stop the milk so they say why the milk boiled over because the milk was thinking milk in that pot was thinking mother yashoda's milk compared to that we are nothing and if krishna is enjoying that milk what is our use for krishna better let us end our life so they come they were committing suicide <laughs> by jumping into fire <laughs> and when mother yashoda was chasing krishna she had beautiful flowers on her hair so mother yashoda's flowers started falling from her hair so vaishnava acharya say when she was running to catch krishna why the flowers were falling from her hair because there were two groups of flowers one group of flowers were on krishna's side they were supporters of krishna political party <laughs> they said oh if we remain on the head on the hair of mother yashoda and yashoda catches krishna that means we are also in yashoda's party we are also responsible for krishna being caught so we don't want to be with yashoda so they fell off from the hair and the other group of flowers which also fell from mother yashoda's hair they were all they were in yashoda's party they fell because they thought mother yashoda should catch krishna and if we fall from her hair our body will become lighter so she will be able to run faster <laughs> and catch krishna so like that so she was running behind krishna now i have asked you a question how can so is lord afraid really or is he doing drama a drama na hare drama hare drama 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 <laughs> so why why is krishna why that means that means that means it's not real so if he is doing drama that means this pastime is not real if it is if he is really afraid that means he is not god supreme god how can he be afraid how will you answer this doubt who will answer you do understand my question at least the way you are looking at me i feel either you are in ecstasy of love of krishna or you are bewildered completely <laughs> How will you answer this question? Is Krishna? Did you answer? What is the question I asked? First, okay, repeat the question. Then I'll be satisfied. <laughs> what is the question I asked? Whether? So what is the problem if he is doing drama? Then this pastime is not real. Then I mean, it's all a drama. Correct. And if it is uh, real, then what is the problem? Then he is not God. So how will you resolve this confusion? Yes, out of love. So out of love, it is drama. <laughs> sorry, sorry. What is that? He is afraid of causing her pain. He is afraid of causing her. This is a very deep answer. Yes, afraid of causing her pain. So that fear is fear of. He he wants her to be happy. It's okay. That's also a beautiful answer. Anything else? 
Yeah, it's not drama, it's, it's fully absorbed and he allows Yoga Maya to cover him. That's also a good answer. Yes, you're all giving correct answers. So, Rupa Goswami gives... Yes, Mataji. So, uh, whatever was happening is happening in here. Okay. And Krishna, because he is uh, of the Vatsal and he wants to uh, satisfy his devotees, so he actually, uh, for the pleasure, and that his mother will be, you know, a little bit uh, happy with the way she is and her emotions and her desires. So To make her happy, yeah. he makes it real. So, he himself is not scared, just for the pleasure of, of his life. devotees, he makes it real. Yeah. Beautiful. All of you are giving good answers. Yes. So, he wants, Krishna wants to experience the fear that a child has of no parents. Ah. So, Krishna makes it real because he wants to experience that. Yes. Arupa Goswami has given a beautiful purport. He says, he Supreme Lord, how can he become afraid of his mother Yashoda? He says, because he is like that bumblebee. You know bumblebee, Shadangrir, it has the power to penetrate wood. But the bumblebee gets trapped by the soft petals of a lotus flower. Do you know this? Because the bumblebee goes there to take nectar. And when the petals close, the bumblebee is so busy taking the nectar that doesn't realize that I can penetrate this. If he can penetrate wood, can't he penetrate soft petals of a lotus flower? But he doesn't. Daru bedha nipuno pi shadangrir nishkriya bhavati pankaja koshe. Daru ko bhi bed kar sakta hai. Bumblebee shadangri. Daru means? Ah, good, I thought you would think something else. <laughs> Daru bedha nipuno pi shadangrir. A bumblebee can penetrate hard wood. But nishkriya bhavati pankaja koshe. But when it comes to lotus flower, the bumblebee is completely important. Similarly, Krishna is like that bumblebee. And the heart of devotees is like what? Lotus flower. Where there is a lot of nectar. What is the nectar in the heart of devotees? Love. And Krishna, like the bumblebee, enters the heart of his devotees and he gets so busy enjoying the love that the devotees have. Krishna is relishing that love so much that the knowledge is covered. Just like the lotus petals, the leaf covers the lotus. Similarly, Krishna's knowledge, self-knowledge, that is the Lord, that knowledge gets covered. And Krishna doesn't mind because Krishna is so busy collecting nectar in that heart that his own Godhood knowledge is completely eclipsed. That knowledge is eclipsed. Therefore, although he is a Supreme Lord, the love of his devotees conquers him. So, how many qualities we have discussed which Krishna renounces? Six. What are the first? Atma Ram means? Self-satisfied. Second? After Kaam means? Satisfied with little. Third? Three Gunatita means beyond three modes. Fourth? Lakshmi Pati means husband of goddess of fortune. Fifth? Ajita means unconquerable. Sixth? Abhay. Abhay means fearless. And seventh? We'll discuss now. Muktaya. Krishna is muktaya, means Krishna is always free. But what has happened in this past time? Krishna is bound, Mother Yashoda binds him. And when she is binding him, the ropes fall short, two fingers short. So she gets more ropes, more ropes. But all the ropes, finally she ties, they always fall two fingers too short. The Vaishnavacharyas say these two fingers represent one finger represents our effort in bhakti. The second finger represents the Lord's blessing. So to achieve success in bhakti, we need two fingers. Our effort also and the Lord's blessing also. And Lord was bound. He is muktaya. He is eternally free. But he becomes bound. Amazing. See, we, are, we all consider ourselves bound, right? by the material body, material consciousness. So why do you look at Krishna for help? 
because he is free. Imagine if he is bound, will we go to him? Like imagine somebody has tied you to a tree with a rope, and you are crying, help, help, help. And next to you is another tree, and there is a man who is tied to that tree, and he hears your shouting. He says, "Don't worry, I'll save you." <laughs> he will tell you, "How can you save me? You are also bound." So we are going to Krishna because Krishna is not bound; he is muktaya. So therefore, it's interesting that this muktaya Lord is bound, and Gajendra he says, "Why we go to Krishna? Madra prapanna pasupa shavimokshanaaya muktaya bhuri karuna ya namo layaaya." स्वामशेना सर्वतनुब्रन मनसी प्रतीता प्रत्यक दृशे भगवते ब्रह्मते नमस्ते इसे इस प्रपन्न ना भी सरेंडर टू कृष्णा बिकॉज़ विमोक्षना या इस दवनु कैन फ्री एस बिकॉज़ ये एस दिस क्वालिटीज फर्स्ट मुक्ता या इस मुक्ता इस फ्री सी व्हेन यू आर बाउंड एंड यू कॉल आउट हेल्प हेल्प एंड यू सी � so immediately you get hope, right? You are bound. He is not bound. You will say, "Help me! You are free. Help me!" That's what Gajendra is saying. Krishna, you are muktaaya. But the person who is saving you, his quality is not that he is only free. He should also have another quality. Muktaaya, bhuri, karunaaya. He should also be kind. Imagine somebody is walking next to you. He is free, and you are bound. And you tell him. अरे यू आर नॉट बाउंड यू कैन सेव मी प्लीज रिलीज मी एंड यू लुक्स एट यू एंड सेज वेरी गुड फॉर यू हाउ विल नॉट सेव यू आई एम हैप्पी यू आर बाउंड रिमेन बाउंड देन यू विल सी अरे यू आर फ्री बट यू आर नॉट करुणा या यू आर नॉट काइंड सो व्हाई वी आर गोइंग टू कृष्णा बिकॉज कृष्णा इज नॉट ओनली मुक्ता या कृष्णा इज ऑल्सो करुणा या कृष्णा इज काइंड ऑल्सो बट गजेंद्र से दीज टू क्वालिटीज आर नॉट सफिशियंट दैट इज द थर्ड क्वालिटी ऑल्सो इज नीडेड Somebody may be free, and somebody may be kind also. But what if he is spaced out? Like imagine you are bound and you are shouting help, and your friend is walking by. He is free, and he is very kind to you also. But then he doesn't look at you because he is listening to music. He has put his headphone, and he is listening to rock and roll music. And he is going around. His eyes are closed, and he is going walking. And you are shouting help, help. He doesn't listen to you only. So what you will say? I know him. He is my friend. He is very kind. He is very merciful, and he is free also. But he is not attentive. He is not alert. He is not awake. Namo alalaya. Alalaya means he is not spaced out. He is very alert. These are the three qualities Krishna has, because of which Krishna can free us. What is the first? Muktaaya. Second, Karunaaya. Third, Layaaya means he is alert. And then Gajendra says. So how is Krishna having all these qualities? Swamshe na sarva tanubran manasi pratita is in the heart as Paramatma. Therefore, he is able to see everything. The video camera is on. Pratyak drishe bhagavate brhate namaste. All these qualities Krishna has in unlimited quality brhate. Krishna is unlimitedly merciful, unlimitedly alert, unlimitedly free, and that unlimited free Lord. He is bound by a simple lady, Mother Yashoda. When Krishna went to Astinapur, a Shanti Dut Duryodhan tried to bind Krishna. What is the physical prowess of Mother Yashoda compared to Duryodhan? Duryodhan had the strength of ten thousand elephants. Duryodhan could not bind Krishna. Mother Yashoda could bind Krishna. But this is the seventh quality Krishna relinquishes. The quality of what is the quality? Muktaaya. Another quality Krishna. The last one we'll take up. Eighth quality Krishna relinquishes. Is Krishna is called Mukunda. Mukunda means one who gives liberation, one who gives freedom. So when Krishna was bound, he could not free himself, but he gave freedom to whom? The wooden grinding mortar. He dragged and he got stuck between two trees. And he gently pulled, and those tree giant Amalarjuna trees fell, and two Gandharvas were released from those trees. 
and they were nala kuvera and mani gri when they offered beautiful prayers krishna released and gave freedom to two gandharvas but for him to be freed his mother had to come and untie and therefore krishna gave up his quality of being mukunda so this is amazing quality see this is how beauty of krishna is you know every religion presents god as great but are krishna is present god as great also and god as sweet also if god is great then we will have fear of him god is great but god is also very sweet and that is what bhagavatam presents and those who don't know the sweetness of krishna when they approach god they always are in fear and when they see others are loving god not the way they love they become more afraid and they say our religion is in khatra maro sabko giardino bruno was an italian uh, philosopher so when i was in college i was fascinated i read a few of his essays and then i wanted to know when did he live when did he die i was shocked in the year 1600 the roman catholic church was shocked at his teachings because he spoke about seeing god everywhere he spoke about earth revolving around the sun he spoke about things which christianity considered as hearsay or as sinful so he was sentenced to be you know how to be killed you will be shocked in the busy market place he was hung upside down first of all he was made naked kapda utar ke usko nanga ulta latka hai and then he was burnt alive with fire so before dying he made this famous sentence he said this famous sentence you are the fear you have in killing me is more than the fear i have of receiving death hmm. did you hear did you understand he looked at the people who were killing him and he smiled and he said the fear you have in your eyes in killing me is more than the fear i have in being killed by you and in the year 2000 the roman catholic church issued a formal statement justifying what the church had done 400 years ago saying that because people had told them that they should apologize for what had happened the church instead of apologizing said what they did 400 years ago was justified according to the time place and circumstances so this is what happens to people like hussein who are always fearful who approach god in this mood so we are very lucky shila propad presented us god who is very great but also very sweet if propad had presented god only as sweet then what would have what is the problem we would be in we would become sagacious we would become very cheap we would not follow any rules and regulations we would think i love krishna krishna is my darling we would not do deity worship properly we would not have systems discipline like many 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 years ago in 1989 or something govind prabhu tells me that one pujari was worshiping krishna small deity and the deity kept slipping from his hand basically he was negligent the deity was actually falling because he was not careful so third time that happened instead of rectifying his mistake he shouted Hey Krishna, where are you running away? Why don't you behave yourself properly? So Goind Prabhu was right there. He got so angry with that Brahmachari. He said, "You are negligent. You are a rascal, but you are pretending as if you are so advanced that Krishna is slipping from your hand and running away." So this is what happens when we are only hearing about Krishna's sweet pastimes, and sometimes we go to the other extreme. Krishna is great. God is great. Then when God is only great, then our heart is not experiencing the rasa. the mellow the juice of bhakti we don't find bhakti very sweet and happy experience so we need both and when both are there then bhakti becomes complete so we are very very fortunate that we are connected to shila prabhupada's mission shila prabhupada presented krishna in such a beautiful charming way in the month of kartik please please offer lamp even if you can't offer because of your office because of your work in your mind you can always offer a lamp remember every day as some time which is specially potent similarly in the year kartik month is specially potent please perform as much as possible devotional activities and also pray for others 
pray for each other everybody is going through some difficulty in their personal life so please pray for each other please pray for me i pray for you and let us pray that the whole world sarve jana sukhino bhavantu let everybody be happy let everybody get experience of krishna's love in their hearts then this world will be a beautiful place hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare i was so happy you know in denver colorado i was traveling in us last month i met one lady she must be 25 and i was so my heart is still beating so much my faith in krishna increased so much she is an american lady 25 year old her father is a fanatic christian mother is jewish and she has chosen to be a muslim and her husband's name is shiva he is from hyderabad telugu <laughs> she is american her father is russian mother is american but mother is uh, jewish a uh, christian a uh, jewish or christian father is one of basically jewish christian mother and father she is muslim husband is telugu brahman <laughs> and she is asking me how to reconcile all of this <laughs> i said why did you come to this temple she said because i like krishna krishna is so attractive even when she was saying it her eyes were moist she just is attracted to krishna so i said just continue coming to krishna all this confusion will be reconciled <laughs> amazing telugu husband she is muslim krishna pura hai pura potpuri pura so that's how krishna is so wonderful krishna is so charming hare krishna kartik maas ki jai shri krishna chandra bhagwan ki jai bolo nanda nandana sham sundar ki jai bolo mor mukut bansi wale ki jai shila prabhupad ki jai damodar ashtakam ki jai thank you very much hare krishna